Took a job. Let's do Went intro. back home and finished up at uh, back home at UL. So we want to play peekaboo. And, uh, took a job running Camp so Chioka, and I, I didn't know what exactly oh. I was going to do. I knew that was a place that I, I okay. thought God wanted me at the time. Uh, went into oh. ministry. Oh. College ministry. Actually, I was preaching at first, then doing youth for a bunch of little tiny small churches. Uh, that's where I think I learned to be a good storyteller or a good entertainer, uh, trying to keep the attention of teenagers and college kids. And uh, a lot of those kids worked around, uh, trained them there, worked out in camp, had a great time. In my 20s, I was able to see John Luke and Sadie uh, born. We had breakfast and lunch and dinner together, work out there just in the woods. And um, Wonderful, marvelous. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I told her, she said, well, the question she asked a while ago was, you know, how do you keep yourself grounded and not let it go to your head? And, you know, you've done so much. And I said, it, it doesn't happen now. It's kind of like my kids, uh, the well behaved in their teens. That happened when they were two and three. That's where all the hard work was done. And I didn't miss that opportunity. And now I get to uh, share in the joy of them being respectful. And it happens when you're young. Yeah. What, what keeps us grounded, what keeps us, you know, our head above water, and our faith, and the Lord, and, and the things that we learn. But it's a foundation. It was 